Well, we're gonna take this hair off, okay. as good as it is. Your own hair is real cute, but yeah. we're gonna we're gonna really even mess it up further. Okay. Now tell me about like what you've been up to. I'm doing a movie um, with Will Smith right now. It's really fun, but we work at night, so I've been a real vampire. A lot of makeup, blood. So wait, so it's literally a vampire movie? No, but it's got blood, so it's blood play. <laughs> <laughs> so besides the movie too, you're still doing your stand-up? Yeah, I'm do doing a lot of material about my mom. <laughs> I like John because he's very clever, even though I don't know what he said. <laughs> is, that, is that what your mother said about me? You grew up in San Francisco in like full-on like gay community. 70s, Harvey Milk. And you identify as queer. Yeah. Yeah. Which I think kind of is an interesting term too, because it sort of encompasses a lot of a things. A lot of things. It's just all about gay life. Gaycations. Oh my god. Like you wanna go you wanna go like on a Rosie cruise or something? <laughs> yeah. Remember when Rosie O'Donnell was doing like cruises? Yeah, Rosie cruises. She She's, plays drums. She does? Mm-hmm. Um, Full on, she's so lesbian. She plays yeah. drums. Are you making a skull? No. Oh my god, you're trying to get to the bottom of it now? Yeah. <laughs> Did you make a, a ventriloquist dummy marks on me? <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of this. This is real fun. Didn't you tell me that like Mark Ruffalo built the bed at your house? Yeah, Mark Ruffalo built my bed. And like he's the only one that knows how to put it together and tear it apart. So I actually need to hire him to like move Come me because I'm gonna move. Yeah. And he said that if I uh, pay his SAG day rate, which is like what $500 a day, that okay. he, he would move it. He would do it. Do you like horror movies and stuff like I that? I do. Weren't you in like One Missed Call or something like I'm that? I'm in One Missed Call. You know what I was in? Oh my god, I was in a Red Shoe Diaries. Oh, it was Erotica. like softcore porn, It right? was softcore porn, yeah. yeah. I did an actual porn, but I'm not one of the performers. I was in the background and you could see the back of my head at a bookshelf. Doing what? You were like playing a librarian? It was a straight porn, which is totally weird. Interesting. But the guy, the star, the male star was super gay. Oh, Why did you uh, make it all like blanket down here? Are you gonna shoot me with a paintball? We're gonna have sex after. We're gonna have sex. Oh, we're gonna have sex. Gay, gay, yeah. gay porn sex. We're gonna do that same. We're gonna do part two of that movie that, that we were porn. just talking about. <laughs> did you tell them that I saw your butthole? No, I haven't. But you can tell everybody. I'm sure. I saw John's butthole because we did anal <laughs> bleaching. <laughs> We did anal bleaching, yep. And like his butthole is really close to the surface. <laughs> it's not like really deep in. It's like the butthole's right there. It's like right there. They like, get it, they get it. Do me a favor and just hold your finger up there and help. Just hold that for a second. So I'm doing these little ropes here. You'll see why in a moment. All right, I'm gonna put your headpiece on and we're almost done. And this goes here. Is it tennis balls? <laughs> no, it's not tennis balls, but. If you could guess now, what would you guess? He's like a cat. A cat? Oh, because of the yarn. The yarn. Here we go. Here's the big reveal. Voodoo doll. Wow! Margaret Cho, thank you so much for being here. Yay. Now I know exactly how you are. You're like, get this off my head. <laughs> <laughs>